Okay, and now it is finally time to actually move on with it. I know that that was a four hour stint of just nothing but side quests. I apologize. But uh, the lake is pretty much all good and cleaned up now, except for a couple like chests here and there that we can't access yet, which we probably won't even bother going back for. But uh, now it is absolutely time for some main quest and main quest only. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. We were so close. <sighs> one more side quest. This one is probably you the worst who one. Walks among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You You're want what now? Your bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. Yeah, I don't know. Something about this guy doesn't... They've taken three of sweet Gulvig's Doesn't sit right. ...and spread them across the lake. So, as far as uh, side questy fetch bullshit, which the side quests in this game don't really do, there was that one before where it was like, oh, you gotta kill my men for me on these beaches, and it's like, oh, I wish we had done that before. This one is easily the worst offender, because most people will probably be go to the Lake of Nine and do all this stuff, and then head this direction for the main quest, only to find that, oh, right next to the main quest, there's another side quest, and this one requires you to go back to three of the islands that you've probably just finished exploring, so kind of really, really annoying. Um, where the hell are we even going? Okay, one of them is over here, so uh, let's see about finding it real quick, and you know what, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna bounce back and forth between them, basically. Just one, one, two, one, two. Because I don't even think Kratos has any dialogue or anything on the boat, but we'll see. Hey, look. Bones. That simple. His bones pulse with magic. No enemies or anything. You just gotta find the bone. Can we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How do you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. Hey, here's another one. And no enemies or anything. It's Gulvig's bones. A little what insulting. Say to, her? to Gulvig? Your mother. Whatever you have done said. I I guess. I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that. I <laughs> You don't understand. Neither do you. <laughs> Even this side quest is tearing these two apart. Think of all we've been through. It's all ruined because of a bunch of bones. And here's the last one. All the way up in this cave. The final uh, bone. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know she's not oh, fuck. Back, okay? I know. I just... never mind. I just realized we actually have another Sorry. quest I forgot about. Shit, I just realized we, uh... We got the quest to actually head back to Fafnir's storeroom. Where's Fafnir's storeroom? It's there. We didn't... That's weird how it's not showing up on the map. We totally have a, a quest that tells us to go back there, though. Right? Return to Fafnir's storeroom, yeah. Track? Now it'll show up on the map? Okay, there we go. <sighs> should I actually bother going back there, or should I just wait until we can you know, fast travel? Because <laughs> that's coming up hopefully soon! Um, mm, I do really want to get it out of the way, so maybe I'll just do it real quick. It's, Fafnir's storeroom isn't that far out of the way. Um, I wonder why yeah. bones are all over the place. Desecration, typically. 
pieces of scattered corpse make for a piss-poor soul. No hope for Valhalla or Helheim when your arm's on one beach and your head's on another. Why not ask the spirit? I'm sure he will be forthcoming with answers. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm instead of heading to the spirit, because that's where our goal is, so we're probably going to want to go right to our goal um, after turning in the side quest. So let's actually just head right to Fafnir's storeroom, uh, way down this ravine. Uh, I'll, hell, I'll even tell you how long it takes for me to get there, but I'll, I'll just see you there. Oh, what? Oh! Okay, there's just treasure right here. Okay, well, I guess it's a good thing. Wow! Taking damage when during a raid attack reduces damage taken by 15%. That's actually really good, because one misconception you'd think about runic attacks is that, oh, you probably get invincibility like the rage, and that is absolutely not true. So when you do, like, a crazy attack like this, like, you are wide fucking open for damage. Like, enemies, like, high-level enemies can just in straight-up insta-kill you while you're doing that attack. So uh, having damage reduction during, uh, that'd actually be pretty handy. But anyway, we made it to Fafnir's storeroom. It took about two minutes of solid just running and crawling through tunnels. But we managed to get back here all just to get a quest reward. Hopefully it's a good one. I think I remember it being pretty decent. No ogres this time? Thank God. What hey. are you fools doing back here? Come to pill for my boots and small clothes. We found your son. He... He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. Yeah, really. How'd he go out? Did I fight him? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! <laughs> Vandrid always did keep his sword nice and sharp. <laughs> A Except he, picked up from he was also decapitated and had like three swords stuck into his neck stump. So, that, no oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I should have said that. I should have given a warning before I said something that gross, I'm sorry. Tears Shard! Okay, yeah. It's a good one. That thief did not deserve the peace you gave him. Maybe so. Still, it feels good to help people. Even the dead ones. <laughs> so much like your mother. <laughs> Okay, so, Tears Shard. That is actually one of the best, uh, straight up, it's one of the best things you can equip in the whole game. So, let's see. Sigil of the Axe is really good, but it's our only level 4. Um, this is also a level 4, but Tears Shard is just straight up stat boost to everything, so why the hell not? Um, as for which one we should take off for the other one... I would want to take this off because I think it's way better, but sadly it would lower our level and level trumps all. So I cannot, cannot do that. We have a level seven blind resistance. That's nuts. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just going to meet you back at, uh, all the way back by that other spirit that asked for the bones. I'll probably stop by Sindri on the way too, just to see if I can do anything. But uh, if I can't do anything special, then I'll just see you there. Okay, all the way back at the bone guy, and uh, yep, we found the bones. So here you go. We have collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik, whole again. Rise, dear Gulvig. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvig! Uh oh. She says she'll honor our request. And reunite us? Okay. Okay, so yeah, if you didn't see this coming, here you go. And uh, this is. Wait. My. Other attacks seriously isn't done yet, seriously? There we go. Whoa, wow, she's already almost dead. Shoot her. There we go. Wow, uh, I didn't remember her having that little health, Jesus Christ. I told you so. I told you so. You are naive, foolish boy. 
This is true as well. <laughs> but do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. Okay, so that finally does it for side questing. Holy shit. There is actually some treasure that we could get, and you could even, like... It actually tells you, I forgot, like, what you could get, so... This... If we find this Thor statue one, which will probably be pretty easy to find, because I can see Tyr's Temple right there, um, you get three hardened steel, which would be enough to upgrade the bow one time. At the same time, it's like, maybe I should wait until fast travel is, if I was... If I actually truly did care about collecting all that stuff, maybe I will, maybe I won't. We'll see. It is... It's in the back of my mind, though, for sure. Uh, what is in the forefront of my mind, however, is finally f fucking moving on with it. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Be ready. What the hell? Okay, the game just won't let us actually move on, because, yeah, now we have another ogre to deal with, and, uh, oh, he's actually almost dead. Okay, this should do it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's surprising how quick that was, but, uh, I'll take it. Uh, two dark elves, apparently? Shit, I was kind of hoping to- oh my god, that's a lot of dark elves. Jesus Christ, Kratos is covered in blood. Why are there so many Dark Elves? Oh, they're only level 2, actually. That's not that bad. There we go. Swing and a miss. There we go. I think I'm getting better at this. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to mom again. If we keep an eye out, look while if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's error. Yes. <laughs> oh, that I, that same dialogue triggered for me on my first playthrough as well. And yeah, it again. This side quest. What the hell did Kratos just do? This side quest must have been thrown in the very last second. Cause yeah, that dialogue makes no sense if you just completed the quest, but it can trigger after you've completed it. Oh, <sighs> anyway. Holy fuck, we're actually moving on. Let's go get this damn chisel. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamur. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, is without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Grimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason struck his son. Grimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Bamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. Oh no. And what happened next? You'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, that's ominous. Thor killed him. Yep. Oh, no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Clamor fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Okay, and yeah, just one tunnel later, we are in another snowy area. Northern Dock. I was hoping you'd actually say the name of the area, because if we go to the map, we're going to see something pretty fucking cool. <laughs> yeah. Thamir's Corpse. Yeah. Yeah, when he said a very giant giant, he wasn't kidding. This guy's as big as the fucking Lake of Nine. <laughs> I'd like to see him go up against the World Serpent. Holy shit. Uh, but he's long dead, unfortunately. See, that's one of his fingers right there. Okay, another Wolver, and uh, this actually might be the first one that you see in the main storyline, and... 
my god, I, I forgot how unbelievably good uh, the upgraded... Uh, oh my god, he's, he's almost dead. There we go. Okay. Murder of Crows combined with Kratos' axe temper tantrums and you're unstoppable. And if you're worried that, like, oh, wow, like, you're so overpowered at this point, nothing can touch you. The fucking post-game shit is so stupid difficult in this game. Don't worry. You, I, you won't see me, like, cheesing through that stuff. Shit's gonna get hard, yo. You can't just button mash in this game. Anyway, okay, so let's, uh, let's get on with it. With, uh, well play Shock Hero, we can desecrate this corpse, I guess. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. But we can actually turn this ring on his hand. It's again, really cool. As far as set pieces go, this is probably the biggest one in terms of, like, raw scale, I guess. His idea. And we'll turn it this way, and we can get another ice block destroyed. There we go. Let's open this for now. Some more solid steel. i hoping for hardened, but hey, at least we have that knowledge that, oh, we can go to that one uh, treasure treasure area to get it. This is one of the last uh, Odin chambers that there, that are in the game. I think there are seven that the game counts, but I'm pretty sure there are more than seven. I think there's like at least ten in the game. And uh, yeah, this is a, well, that's a, that's a guy up there. Now he's not. This is another guy. Now he's not either. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Um... So yeah, here's another one of these doors. Oh, that's weird how we found another one right there. It's almost like we're going to be able to open it soon. Ooh. With a certain chisel, you know what I mean? It's, I don't know. It's kind of like the feel you get in, like, a Zelda dungeon or something. If you see a shitload of claw shot targets on the walls or something and you don't have a claw shot yet, it's like, oh, gee, I wonder what this dungeon's gonna have. Um... Not that this game has traditional dungeons at all. I mean, it kind of does. You could you could consider like the inside of the mountain a dungeon, and the ringed temple was a dungeon, but uh, not traditional. Uh, these are worm skin pauldrons. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think they're particularly nice looking, and that wise, they're nothing to write home about either. So we'll just uh, keep on with our dwarven ones for now. Holy shit. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Wait, that that chisel? Okay, that's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Hostiles? I'll go for the one on the left, you go on the one for the right. And more wolvers. I guess this is their like breeding ground or something. Kratos is about to breed a whole new level of destruction among these guys. This guy was all the way over there, and Murder of Crows still seeked him out. Suck him out. Oh, that sounded bad. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, there we go. Can you combo into Executioner's Cleave? What the fuck? You can! You can straight up do a combo into it. Nope, that doesn't do it. It has to be a three-hit combo, and then Kratos shines and does a quicker Executioner's Cleave. Well, uh, like 70 hours playing this game, and and as someone who's addicted to using Executioner's Cleave, I actually never figured that out, so that's fucking awesome. Okay. Uh, this is just a chest right in the middle of nowhere for some reason. That is strange. Rune Weaver braces. What am, what am I talking about? We have tears of the Unity Gauntlets. We're totally fine. And more World Tree Sap. Okay, that'll be useful for this. Jordan. Perfect. 
And it's Kratos' favorite part of the day, skating on ice, holding giant crystals. Kratos on ice. Now that's something I would pay to see. Jesus Christ. Is that... Is that like something... Is that like a spear jammed to his, his, his head right there? Or is that just... No, that's definitely like a spear or something. Oh god. Thor was uh, pretty merciless. Or maybe actually, I'm gonna guess that that wasn't Thor's doing. I'm pretty sure his head just fell on top of that when he fell over. So, super dead. Just as, just as planned. Oh god, okay, if I'm not mistaken, this might be more weavers, I think, so... Oh, never mind! It's actually, it's fucking nothing! Okay. Uh, I'll take it. We have a giant arena right here, so you'd think that they would actually uh, throw an encounter, but I guess not. Oh, and there's uh, another ruin door over here, so let's see about opening it real quick. Uh, this shouldn't be too bad. We have to hit it again, really. Um, from this side, I guess? How did that miss? Excuse me? Hit the fucking thing. There we go. Okay, look up there. What does he mean by that? Wh look up where? Could you repeat that? What the heck is through here? Whoa! Oh, is this where we climbed up? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Um, that's the one we just hit. So, there's gotta be two more, right? We should probably grab this chest before we forget. Uh, break this. Nope, not really. Okay. Uh, this is the way to go, so I don't want to go too far. Because the ruins are definitely have to be over here somewhere. Oh, there's another one right there. I mean, it's I don't see it, but I'm assuming that if we hit this, then it will show its face. There it is. The tricky bastards. Okay, I think that might have done that door. Yes, it did. Okay. I can just barely see it over there. And just one more. What does it say? Um, yes, sir. I actually remember this one being like hidden ah, somewhere. Yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. Oh, is that some tree sap right there? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, that's where we can throw it then. Uh, where? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this, this, this area is really, really big, but there's not a whole lot actually going on. Oh, wow. There it is. I actually hit that. Awesome. Okay, I'm not quite sure if that would have opened it. Nope. Okay. There we go. That should have done it. Sweet. And for our troubles, we get just another one of these chests. So hopefully it's something good. I was kind of thinking it would be, uh... Ooh, what the hell is that? Mark of the Ranger. Ooh! Literally just a better version of the same axe sigil that we had. Uh, Blessing of Runic. Screw that. Let's put that on. There we go. Sweet. So, uh, better axe throws again. Nice. Okay, uh, I think that actually does it, so... <laughs> Boy, get out of the way! God damn it! Oh, I wish I wish I could replicate that thing that happened earlier in the mountain when Kratos was sliding forward just on one foot. Uh, what the hell? Upgraded nightmares? Okay, well, even upgraded, they can't do shit against the chain lightning. Never mind. 